Everything Everywhere All At Once is directed by the Daniels, the duo that brought us Swiss Army Man. And this film follows an aging Chinese immigrant who is swept up in this insane adventure, where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes, connecting with the lives she could have led. Unfortunately, this sweeps her up in an even bigger adventure when she finds herself lost in the infinite worlds of the multiverse. I'm Jacob, and I just watched this movie. I was really excited to see this film. I love Swiss Army Man. That film is so creative and weird, so I was really inter interested to see this, and I can happily say that Everything Everywhere All At Once is a fantastic film. It is oozing with creativity. The way the multiverse stuff is portrayed is so fun. It's pretty much universe transporting Bluetooth, and they set it up in a, such a great way that it ties into the action sequences, and they have so many great comedic moments that come out of that. And that's another big positive, and I guess you could kind of look at it as a negative too for this film, is that there are a lot of funny moments. There are some that had me cackling in the theater, and then there were others that just fell flat. There's an entire bit with a bagel. Uh, this is one in particular where they keep coming back to this joke, and every time it just didn't land. I can't fault the movie too much for that though, seeing as in a movie that's trying to make you laugh, not everything's gonna land. The lead performance in this film did work for me though. Michelle Yeoh and Kehue Kwan, if I'm pronouncing that right, are great. Because we need your help. Very busy today, uh, no time to help. And they have to go through so many different emotions and feelings in this film. They're characters that have to see different lives they could have lived and they do a great job showing the interior conflict that comes from that. This film has its characters face a lot of questions they have, have about the world and where we fit as humans fit into everything and it's really beautifully done. Like this film has a scene with two rocks that made me feel more emotions than pretty much any recently, recently released film. Now as much as I want to sit and praise this film because it does just about everything you could want from a film, I do have two problems with it. One is the runtime just because once the part two text came on the screen, I was kind of baffled because I thought the film was gonna start wrapping up, but there was still quite a bit left. The pacing isn't terrible or anything, it's just that this film is throwing a lot at you. And at least on the first watch, I checked out a couple times because the film would just lose me a bit, but it would pull me back in in the next scene for sure. My only other issue is kind of a spoiler, but honestly, I think if you know more going into this film, it might help you just have fun with it. The daughter from another universe is the villain in this, and honestly, I think the actor Stephanie Hsu was the miscast for that role. This film is very goofy and silly, and her character is too at times, but as a villain, she didn't have that presence at all. Every scene with her as a villain just didn't work for me. I found, I think they could have found a different actor just so she'd actually feel villainous rather than what we got, which felt like a teenage girl putting funny costumes on and throwing a ten emperor tantrum. Again, I know this movie is supposed to be silly and fun, but she just doesn't work visually as a multiverse god with crazy abilities. This is also something that I can't fault the movie too much for because it isn't really the story of the film. It's about the multiverse, yeah, but that's not really the focus. The focus is the family drama, and from the aspect, from that aspect of the film, it's perfect. It delivers emotionally on that arc in every way, and I found it really satisfying. <laughs> Of all the places I could be, I just want to just share with you. Overall, this is a great film. I encourage as many people to go see it as possible. It is very is a very universal movie. Like I couldn't name a solid demographic that this plays to. It's really funny and emotionally satisfying in a lot of ways. This is a film like Swiss Army Man that I think will get better the longer you sit with it. And while I did have issues with the film, this is one that is crazy to think it even exists. It feels so original and unique that it, that I feel it is only right to give everything everywhere all at once a 10 out of 10. So did you get to go see this movie? If you did, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.